Hi, my name is Fernanda Castillo and this is my evidence to about water wars. So I'm going to start. The world is full of valuable resources that we use in our daily lives, just like water. Earth is known as a blue planet. 70% is covered in water, but most of it is salty, and humans need fresh water, which represents only 3% of the total amount in the whole world and only 1% is available for human consumption. The fact that this research is becoming less and less accessible is leading to global tensions. And see, I used to catch up water without thinking about it, without any doubt. But imagine it, what will happen if we run out of this resource. A human being can only survive three or four days without water. Wars are inevitable since the excessive demand of the resource by the world population requires a large amount of water per person. Simply by going to the bathroom, we use up to 9 liters of water. A 2 minute shower can take up to 20 liters of water. And let's just add 2 more liters for drinking. And washing machine in economy mode can use up to 60 to 70 liters per day. Now imagine if our ration is of 50 or 25 liters per day. How are we supposed to maintain our normal lifestyle? How are we supposed to keep doing things like we used to? Well, according to the World Resources Institute, by 2040, 33 countries will be suffering from extremely high water stress, and that will cause a displacement of more than 700 million people. The lack of water can have disaster consequences. It leads to food insecurity as crops are die and farmers can irrigate their fields. Critical systems begin to fail, sparkling violence either internal between the members of the affected population or external by the government to secure more water for, from the contested sources. There are regions that do not have sufficient supply of drinking water, either for agriculture or other things. Taking this into account, it can be logically deduced that the price chain is affect due to its demand. Consequently, its transportation and distribution, which could lead to this content of population and create conflicts. Climate change is already causing troubles in the weather. It is becoming erratic and unpredictable. We are seeing more droughts, more wildfires, hotter temperatures and fewer precipitations. Now, imagine these three times worse. We have seen in movies such as Hellstorm, where they have satellites to control the weather that end up in the ground hands and cause conflict between the nations. And even though this is a fictional movie, we are not that far from this situation. There is a critical number of rivers that provide water to a huge amount of the population, and they will become the five hot spots for water. These are the Ganges, the Nile, the Tigris and Euphrates, the Indus and the Colorado River. The same thing that happened with oil will happen with water. Will occupy countries where water conflict is starting to pop up, will claim we are there to maintain order and stability, and all the while will make the problem worse, to feed our industrial war machine and quality typhoon all of the water we need. The water wars are coming and they won't be advertised as such. But watch where imperialist military end up. It's only a matter of time, and I think that it will be happening in the next decade. Thank you.